Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to start the reading vlog for the second part of the Magical Readathon Spring Equinox round and I'm very excited because I only have two books for my calling to finish. The first one is Hollow Kingdom and I'm about a third of the way through with that one. I hope that today I might make more progress in that. I wanted to be finished with that by now to be honest because the last book I want to read is Grace of Kings by uh, can you and that one is very long so I would like to have a lot of time to do that so hopefully I will make some better progress soon because my life is gonna get a lot busier in the next couple of weeks as well. So I'm reading Hollow Kingdom for uh, the prompt where you had to match the outfit to the book and even though it was not intentional, right now I'm kind of matching the book as well, <laughs> but I already did the outfit part in the last vlog, so if you want to see that um, I encourage you to go and check it out if you haven't already. And um, then I'm also reading for the quest. I started the quest and right now I'm reading a book that I don't know much about or I don't know anything about and that um, I chose A Dead Gin in Cairo by P. Jelly Clark. I don't know why I can't talk today but um, I've only just started it so I don't have an opinion yet but this is a book where I wasn't even really sure what the genre would be. <laughs> and I'm still not quite, so I think it has like fantastic elements, it has a mystery, um, and that's like all I know about it right now. Um, we have mentions of jinns, of angels, something is going on, it is historical as well, because it is set in 1912, I think, um, somewhere around those lines, and it is set in Cairo, so that's, that's all I know. But it's enough to have me intrigued, and I'm excited to finally start reading that series, because I have been intrigued for a very, very long time. So that's my reading right now, and apart from that, if you have missed it in the last vlog, I have adopted a cat yesterday, so we're still in the process of meeting each other and getting to know each other. Right now she is in her room because um, she does have some mental health issues, and so we are trying to do it very step by step, and later today we will explore the hallway of the flat together and play a little bit, and I hope it will go well um but yeah it is very exciting <laughs> but also yeah it takes up a lot of my brain space right now so yeah that's what's going on and i'll keep you updated on all the reading and the cat So today is the 17th of April, it's uh, a back to work kind of day. So today I have my first seminar, I'm very excited, it starts in a couple of minutes actually, so I have to hurry a little bit. <laughs> But I wanted to give you a quick reading update. I am currently about 75% into Hollow Kingdom and this book is definitely a lot. This is um, told completely uh, from the perspective of animals. We mainly follow the crow. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name but um, yeah that's our main character basically but we also get some chapters from a different animal perspectives and it is kind of heartbreaking in a way because we see these um, mostly pets how they react to kind of like a zombie apocalypse so all of their humans are not behaving as they should and uh, yeah we see the world kind of falling apart through the eyes of these pets but also some wild animals. So um, it is an interesting concept. I'm still struggling a little bit with the writing style just because um, it is quite edgy and some of these things really just don't translate into German well and I really don't think that this translation is stellar. Uh, there are a couple of words in here that I don't even know. <laughs> and I, 
<laughs> I don't know where they come from. Like, um, yeah, there there was like a joke with a mare, which I think is quite a common word in English. At least I have heard it before. But the German equivalent mare is not something I have come across. Um, maybe in some like Grimm's fairy tales or something. So uh, yeah, just these like translations, they struggle a bit. But yeah, um, apart from that, I am enjoying it. I think this will probably be a solid four star. I'm intrigued to see where the ending goes now. I think that some um, very tragic shit is gonna happen. So we'll see, less than 100 pages to go. If I'm very good, I can finish it tonight actually. And then I have started my audiobook, uh, A Dead Gen in Cairo, but I haven't really listened to it a lot. I think maybe 20 minutes so far. So I do like the style a lot, but so far, um, yeah, I can't really say anything about it. I still need to get into it a little bit more. But in this one, it's kind of like a mystery, like a murder mystery, but in a fantasy uh, historical Cairo. <laughs> so we have like um, fantastical beings like jinn and angels, um, and we have this kind of, I don't know what her like actual job is, but like a detective person and she is supposed to solve the murder of a djinn together with another detective um, and just their banter is hilarious already. So yeah, I'm really intrigued to, to see what the actual like murder mystery part of it is like. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm reading. I'm gonna head to work now and I'll talk to you soon. So today is the 18th of April and I just finished reading Hollow Kingdom and uh, with that I have finished yet another class. I will talk a little bit more about that later. So I have only one class left to do which is very exciting and then I will have achieved everything for my Arc Mage class. Now this book is a little bit different or a little bit like difficult for me to judge because I read it in a translation and that's always a little bit harder for me. Um, the translation really wasn't that great. Like it took me most of the book to figure out that when they said uh, like <laughs> Ingvar colored in German, that it was ginger, like, <laughs> you know, because ginger is what you call people with red hair, but then it is also the like, what is that even? like the root or something. I don't know what, what ginger is, but basically they use that as a word in German to describe the color, which does not work. <laughs> That's not how German works. And there were also some other things that I just really didn't like about the translation. And the content was interesting as well, but I guess so different from a lot of what I read that I find it hard to judge. There were definitely touching moments in here, but I think because some people uh, before I started this book told me that there is some heartbreaking scenes in here, I was expecting the most heartbreaking one already, so it didn't hit me. And also I felt like the way it happened was so nonsensical that I was just rolling my eyes basically. So that was a little bit sad. I feel like the impact of that was definitely lost on me and I wish I would have felt the things I should have felt in that moment. But uh, yeah, so I'm somewhere between a 3.5 and a 4 star right now. I will think about it a little bit more. <laughs> I have a very busy work day. So yeah, I will think about this book and if I don't talk about it here again, I will talk about it in my wrap up and then I will have like collected my thoughts. But yeah, um, that's it so far right now. I'm also halfway through my audiobook, uh, Dead Gen in Cairo. But um, yeah, I'm in a bit of a hurry because yeah, we just did like the uh, kind of exploring time of the cat. So I had her out of her room for about an hour and then I needed to go to work. So I tried to like lure her back in. But in the process of that, she actually managed to sneak into the kitchen, which she was not supposed to do. So it took me even longer to get her out of there because she started exploring the kitchen, which obviously is very interesting to cap. So yeah, now I'm running late and um, yeah, I, I need to get going. So I'll talk more about everything else later. Okay, everyone, I'm home from teaching until 8 p.m., which is basically torture, but oh well. Um, I'm here to start my final book for the Magical Readathon uh, for my calling. And that is The Grace of Kings. And I'm reading that for the prompt to start the book with a snack. So I have here my wonderful dinner. It is a tomato 
quiche with um, goat cheese. I have the recipe on my cooking channel, Baking Cooking Fun, if you want to check it out. Maybe I will remember to link it down below as well. And I also have some strawberry tea. So that's my snack, and I'm gonna start the book now, probably fall asleep after five pages, but oh well. The cat is here too. She is not having a snack right now, but she is kind of a snack. Oh, she's so cute. So yeah, we're gonna snack and read and chill out. So, just checking in with my classes. With Hollow Kingdom, I finished Art of Illusion, and now I'm reading The Grace of Kings for Artificery. Okay, quick warning, I'm gonna spoil the quest for Aurelium right now, the alchemy quest, so if you don't want to see this, skip over this part. But I finished a uh, dungeon in Cairo and I read that to interview the first person at the inn. And unfortunately, it was not the person that was helpful to me. So I chose another one right now. I chose the drunken, like loud person. And so now I have the choice to just drink with them and wait for them to spill the beans or use a charm. And I think um, because it says I'm not really a master of charms yet and I'm still just in my second semester here, I think I will just wait and let the alcohol do the job. So the prompt for that is to read a contemporary book. So I think I will stretch this a little bit because I think I want to read a book that is more like a horror thriller but set in a contemporary time and probably without magical things in it. <laughs> but like I'm not a contemporary reader so I'm gonna stretch this a little bit for my needs. And so the book I will be reading for this is Bad Cree by Jessica Jones. And I don't really know a lot about this, but it is about a main character who has dreams. And those dreams lead her to go back to her family and try to explore kind of a tragedy and grief that has happened there. So this is the one I'm going with. Okay, here we are again. <laughs> because I fell asleep last night, I did not start my book. So we have a new snack. We have some walnut cake and we have some mango juice and some mango chai. And I will try to start this book again. We also still have a cat up there. She's not very happy with me right now. So today is the 19th of April. I have a couple of more updates. Um, I have finished A Dead Gen in Cairo last night. I decided to give it four stars. It was so fun. I really, really enjoyed it. It was very short. So... I definitely want to read more and fortunately there is more. There is another short story, a novella and a full-length novel so I'm very excited to get into those later. But uh, yeah, the story was really fun. It was a little bit reminiscent of even though I knew the end, um, just not has fleshed out I guess. Um, you really <laughs> rush through the story but I still felt like I got a really good grip on the world and the main character. I also really liked the other character that we get towards the end of the story. And so, yeah, I had lots of fun with that and I can't wait to read more. I think this is definitely a series I will very much enjoy. So that was a success and that was also the next book I read for the quest. And so I came to a dead end with that. So I had to go back and try another way. And for that, I'm now reading Bad Creek by Jessica Johns and I'm very excited. I think this is a Canadian author and also a Native American author so yeah I'm very very intrigued to see what the book is like. I had my eye on it for a while now and I'm excited to get to listen to it. And then I also started reading The Grace of Kings, the last book for my calling. And so this is a junker. I hope I will get it done. But um, since this is kind of like a more open prompt. If I feel like I can't get it done this month, I might cheat and use another book for that in kind of last minute. But I still have a good amount of time to read this, so I try to stay optimistic. I'm also shattered today. It's already almost noon. That's not true. <laughs> it's not almost noon. But like it's very late and I ju I'm just shattered. Like yesterday teaching for so long or like so late, it just... it 
fuck with my head and tonight I also have like a work event so yeah I'm very tired I'm very shattered I hope things will go well but yeah I, I just I can't today <laughs> So today is the 24th of April and I wanted to give you a very quick update. I am now more than halfway through Grace of Kings and I am absolutely loving this book. It is so fantastic. I can't appraise it highly enough and I'm so excited to now get into the second half of this book. So yeah, I hope I can finish this in time. It is a little bit ambitious because next weekend I will be traveling so I won't be reading a lot, but I'm still hopeful that I can do this. I think it is less than 300 pages now, so just wish me luck that I can do this. But I'm doing a complete separate reading vlog for this whole series, so there I will talk in depth about the book. Then I'm also almost finished with Bed Cree. I have, I think, two and a half hours left, so I will finish it in the next couple of days. So we can do another um, quest thing <laughs> once that book is finished. I'm very excited for that. I have a very good feeling that this time we chose correctly and we will get to the next stage. We'll see. Um, but I'm also enjoying that book. I think not as much as I was hoping to, but it is still very interesting and I think that things, that things will really kick off now and start happening, so I'm excited for that. But that one will also be in a separate reading vlog, so yeah, not much to talk about, but progress is being made. So this is my last book depository haul ever. Oh, it's so gorgeous. What do you think? Huh? What do you think? So today is the 26th of um, April. We're nearing the end of it all, unfortunately, but last night I finished my audiobook Bad Cree, so I succeeded in another step of the uh, quest, which is very exciting because this time I chose correctly. Um, even though the book, yeah, is a bit of a stretch for the prompt, but I hope it's still okay. Um, it actually did have a um, paranormal aspect to the story, which I hadn't expected, but it is a kind of metaphor for something very, uh, like, contemporary, like a problem that we definitely see in contemporary world. So I'm still counting it <laughs> because, yeah, as I said, I don't read like traditional contemporary books a lot. So this just this just has to do. So I decided to give this book four stars. I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it if you're interested in this kind of like paranormal horror thriller 
genre, especially from like indigenous voices. Really enjoyed that. Um, I did start a new audiobook now, which is Ramona Blue, which is a reread for the challenge. So um, yeah, we're continuing on with the quest, but I don't think I will finish this within this month. So I will keep doing the quest in May. Um, that's uh, that. Uh, I don't have a real update for Grace of Kings. I am 200 pages from the end, so still quite a bit to go and I'm very worried I won't make it. So we'll see whether I have to like sneakily read something very short for the last prompt, just because I really want to get my uh, like calling prompts all finished. So we'll see about that, but I'm loving the book. It's so good. Um, whenever I start reading it, I don't want to put it down. It's just that life is stressful, <laughs> so I don't know if I will have enough time to read it. Apart from that, doing well. Last night I had the first cuddle with the cat, which was funny because she basically fell asleep on my foot. <laughs> And I was like sitting in a very weird like hunched position and like all of my body parts started falling asleep but I let her sit there for like 40 minutes because I was so happy that she was sitting in one place and not like running around sniffing everything for 40 minutes. That is a huge success. So it's going well um, and I'll update you whenever something interesting happens with my reading. Okay, so this time I made the right decision and I'm able to move on in the quest. And I have now acquired an incriminating letter and the question is whether I will go to the elders because I believe what is in the letters or I go to my teacher who sent me on this journey. And because I'm a very, very loyal person and I just you know, I'm gonna go to the teacher. So the prompt is to reread a favorite. And so as you might have seen on my channel, I'm currently doing a little experiment where I um, looked at my 2017 favorites on Goodreads and decided whether they would still be considered favorites. And a couple of these books I didn't actually remember and so my goal is to reread those so i will choose one of those and i think the one i will choose is ramona blue because i am starting a new audiobook today and that would be quite fitting because i have the audiobook so i think that's what i will do with this and i will not finish that this month unfortunately but the quest can go on longer so it's fine but yeah, I love this quest. It's so much so, fun. So it is May already and I wanted to finish out this vlog. I got a little tiny bit sick, so my voice isn't doing okay. I try to keep this short and not a lot has happened since we last talked. I did finish The Craze of Kings in time for the readathon, so I completed all of my prompts for Archmage, which is very exciting, so I can continue on with this calling in August, and I'm already so pumped for it. Um, this book was amazing as well. I'm doing a vlog for the whole series, so just let me say that this was five stars, and I think that this is what fantasy should be like. Absolutely adored it, and I can't wait to read more from the series. And after finishing that, I decided to start early with my um, Asian Readathon TBR. So I started um, Sweet Bean Paste by Durian Sukigawa, but I did not finish it in April, so I'll talk about it more in May. Apart from that, I was also listening to my audiobook for the quest, um, Ramona Blue by Julie Murphy, and this is a reread. Um, at first I really liked it, but now I'm a bit bored to be honest. Um, so yeah, I didn't quite make it halfway through that, but I will continue on doing the quest in May until I finish it, and I think that's so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know how your magical readathon went. Did you complete all of the prompts for your calling and did you finish the quest? I would love to hear about that and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!